I managed to get some hands-on time with the latest gaming flagship from Asus and while the Asus guys were here, they were also kind enough to show me a torn down ROG Phone 2 and what it had on the inside. So in today's video, let's take a close look at the ROG Phone 2, see what the internals look like and how this phone was built. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and if you find this video interesting, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So this out here is the topmost component with the ROG Phone 2. This is what Asus have used to protect that 6.59 inch AMOLED display. This, it's Corning's Gorilla Glass 6. What we have here next is essentially the metal block from which the chassis is made. This is an aluminium block that's CNC cut. And what you get in the first stage is this kind of a unit. This is the second stage. And this here is what finally goes into the ROG Phone 2 as the chassis. The other components that we see here are what go on top of this chassis. This here is the vapor cool chamber. Here's a closer look at it. It's supposed to be larger than what you'd find on most phones. This out here is the entire PCB. This is a C-shaped PCB. This is the heat dissipation plate. It's a separate part, goes over the SOC. Let's keep that back down. Down below, we have the graphite cooling pads. Next, we have the entire antenna layout. The flap here you see, that's for NFC. There are four Wi-Fi antennas here, three on top, one at the back. The cellular antennas are also present here in this frame. We then have the back cover. This is 3D molded. The glass used here is Corning's Gorilla Glass 3. This one has a 16 layer coating on it to get this kind of an effect. And here you can see the internals of the phone. Let me put it closer. So to the top, we have the speaker. This is a horizontal vibration motor. This obviously is the 6000 mAh Mammoth battery. Then we have the lower speaker, the charging slot, the 3.5mm headphone jack, and there's the second linear vibration motor. So we have two vibration motors here on the ROG Phone 2, and these are the slots for the main and selfie cameras. So if we were to assemble this phone, first we'd have the Gorilla Glass 6 and then the display on top of this chassis. Here's where the 3D vapor chamber goes. Turn it around and we can see that it comes in contact with the processor. It also takes care of the battery with this contact area. On the other side, there's the display. So this 3D vapor chamber cools down not just the SoC, but several aspects of this phone. That's how they've designed it. On top, we've got the PCB coming in. Two parts, let's put that in. The heat dissipation plate goes here on top of the SoC. Then the battery is supposed to slot in here. And on top of that, we get the graphite cooling pad and we've got the antenna. Finally, the back cover. So this is basically how the ROG Phone 2 is put together. So there you go, given all the engineering that's gone into this one, I found this topic to be really interesting and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, if you like this different kind of video, please go ahead, drop it a like, subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. So I guess that's it for this video. What do you think about the ROG Phone 2? What do you think about how it's designed? Do you have any thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.